only what we will do is we will have a panel now. Okay, of merit and family luck because this vocation, very important vocations. And then, yes. Yeah, so we're going to move on to the first question. Um, so you know, it's really a struggle as young people to find out what God is calling you to. You know that a vocation is something God calls you to. And so our first question is, how did you discern that God was calling you to married life and not priesthood or not or or single vocation? So, the, the first goal that makes the art is that we went to Sydney. So, um, yeah, we, um, when I met Janice, my beautiful wife, I met her about 33 years ago. Clap again! <laughs> Yeah, we, we went out for we went out for about six years before we got married, and I just needed to you know learn to know her. She needed to learn to know me. We had to be comfortable with each other. So, um, and then I asked the question six years later, we got married. Wow, that's really beautiful. Right, our next question is you can take it for us, Janice. Um, a lot of young people today are terrified of commitment. How would you encourage them? You know, how did you know that your spouse was the right person you wanted to marry and stay with him for the rest of your life? Hi everyone. You know, when we started dating, there was no Insta, there was no TikToks that guided you and all of you guys are used to it. We used to follow our hearts. And like we said, we went out for six years. And to be committed to each other, you mustn't lose your own identity. You must be true to yourself. Your partner mustn't change you to be somebody else. If you're a person that likes to play sports, you must encourage your partner to continue with the sports. Don't try and change each other, because that is not what commitment is about. Commitment is about sharing each other's passion, believing in each other, and to be there for each other. So, yeah, we have been together for 27 years now we met. We met each other 33 years ago. And we both had different interests, but we were committed to each other and we shared each other's passions with each other. So that is why we decided to get married. Now, whenever some young couple those engaged to marriage come to me and ask me for marriage. I always ask them, why do you want to get married? And the one reality that I always ask them, do you perceive that your wife, your future wife, your future husband, is a pathway for you to heaven? Sanctity, holiness. And in South Africa now at the moment, we have Domitila and Daniel Hayes, a wonderful couple who started Little Eden, and they are now servants of God in the awesome process for Saint to have started. A simple question is, do you perceive that Janice is a pathway for you to heaven? She's the key for you to heaven. And likewise for you, Janice, that Neil is the key way for you to heaven. And how do you navigate your day-to-day -day life? For example, your prayer life as a family, as a married couple. See, if the Lord knows each one of us here by name, He knows each hair on our heads. He, he definitely knows who are like partners. So I think through uh, Christ put chance in my life. And then also our, our, our prayer life, um, we pray together as a couple. And then obviously we pray together as a family. We go to church together as a family. And I must admit between the two of us, there is a third person. And that is God. So yes, I do believe that Janice is there for me. Would you like to add anything to that? Uh, yes, God, like Neil said, God put us together as partners. God knows before you even know who's going to be your life partner. But it is up to you to follow your heart and to follow the calling that you that is your partner out there for you. So it's about praying and being prayerful and being obedient to God to say that is your life partner. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay, we keep in a round of applause. Thank you, Janice. Thank you. Thank you.